Abilene Christian University taking time to honor one of its own tonight, Eloise Carruthers, 105 years young, the university's oldest living alumni. Certainly a reason to celebrate. Yes, uh, for sure. <laughs> KTAB's Noah McKinney was among the crowd as she was recognized by her alma mater tonight. Do you still remember any of that? At 105, Eloise Carruthers continues to surpass even her own expectations. When I went to 100, I would never have thought that I would be 105. A milestone that's earned her the distinction of Abilene Christian University's oldest living alum. Never smoked, never drank, never heard her say a cuss word. So she's the model for clean living. Her son Bill says she's had some trouble handling her anticipation of the day. He woke me up at 11 o'clock last night and, and was in a frantic panic because I hadn't done her hair yet. But with every hair in place, she made her way to her alma mater, where a special presentation was waiting. The current members of Kojo Kai, the social club Eloise belonged to, came out to connect with their fellow Koji. We are very proud that she is one of our sisters. It's a great reminder for me, but also the students, that um, we're standing on the shoulders of people who have also gone before us. It's just a wonderful thing because ACU's meant so much to our family. My granddad was in the first class in 1906. But before she got her cake, one more honor came her way, a mayoral proclamation that April 10th shall now be known as Eloise Carruthers Day. An achievement Eloise says she's proud to hold, though if you want to know her secret, she'll tell you. It's God, because he knows I'm not sure. <laughs> For BigCountryHomePage.com, Happy Birthday to you. I'm Noah McKinney. Oh, sweet, it is sweet. That just beautiful. I love that. Thank you, Noah. Eloise actually spent over 30 years as a second grade educator, and her son. She Bill needs said, an award just for that. Oh, <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> but her son Bill says that she has always had a heart for children, though admits third graders can be a bit rowdy too. Heard about that? Those third graders. Yeah, it's <laughs> the the stories that I get passed along. Certainly, none of our children were. Anything like Eighth that. Eighth graders. <laughs> oh, okay. Eighth yeah, graders. You, you, you're kind of in the midst of that, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs>